so transformations, we call them phase shifts and vertical shifts. So you will see the three examples of equations there. Uh, they got a little bit more going on. We've dealt with the A, we've dealt with the B. The A is the amplitude, the B affects the period. But look what else they have. They have a minus H and a plus K. They have a minus H and they have a plus K. So let's think back to our transformations. When we are adding or subtracting something to the X, what does that do? To move us up and down or left and right? When we're adding it to the X or subtracting it to the X. Is X horizontal or vertical? Which way does the X axis left? Horizontal or vertical? The X axis is horizontal, so that's going to be left and right. And those shifts are the opposite of what we expect. So if we add an H, then that's going to shift us left. And if we subtract an H, that's going to shift us right. So for example, uh, sine of theta minus pi, that's going to shift pi units to the right. We have tangent of theta plus pi over 4. That's going to shift pi over 4 units to the left. Okay. Vertical shifts. Vertical shifts. Plus k. When we were adding or subtracting something outside of the function, that moved us up and down. And up and down is what we expect. So plus k is going to go up. Minus k is going to go down. So tangent of theta plus 2. Notice that with example c and d here, there are no parentheses. When there are no parentheses, any numbers that are added or subtracted are understood to be outside of the trig function. So that plus 2 is going to shift 2 units up. That minus 4 is going to shift 4 units down. When there are no parentheses, it's understood to be outside of the trig function. Okay, there's a difference between A and B and C and D for sure. Okay, so um, let's label there uh, that function that they have. A is the amplitude. 2 pi divided by b is the period. That h shifts left and right. And that plus k shifts up and down. Okay, so important vocabulary so far. Amplitude and period, those are words that are exclusive to our trig functions here. Um, and then here's a new one, midline. Okay, midline. I believe that we talked about this in Math 3 as well, uh, but midline, it is what it sounds like. It's a line in the middle. It's a line that goes through the middle of a function. So, uh, shifting a graph vertically will create a new horizontal axis called the midline. By default, it's the x-axis. Default is... No, wait. Default. I can't spell this one. Default is the x-axis. Okay, but if we shift it up or down, that's going to change it. And so... Um, the equation for the midline in the example that is graphed right there would be, uh, well, let's do it in general, actually. Let's do it in general. It would be y equals k. Whatever k is, is the midline. Um, y equals k. Whatever number you've shifted up or down is your midline. Uh, so you can see that there on the example that's graphed, 
the standard midline is the x-axis. Uh, they have graphed sine of theta plus 4. And if we look at what is the middle of that graph, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 units in this y equals 4. Okay. So that's what we're looking at with midline. So um, let's do a couple of examples there, and I will finally stop talking. Say so the amplitude, period, phase shift, vertical shift, and midline for each function. So our first one is y equals one half sine of three theta minus five. Notice there are no parentheses. So that minus five is outside of the trig function. So the amplitude here is going to be one half. The period is two pi divided by that number in front of the variable. So two pi divided by three. No simplifying that we need to do there. So that's the period. Uh, there is no phase shift here. Okay, there is no phase shift. The phase shift is when you move it left or right. Okay, phase shift is left or right. We did not move it left or right. We were not adding or subtracting anything from the theta because that minus five is not with the theta. The minus five is after the function. The vertical shift is down five. So our midline is y equals negative five. Okay, let's look at one with tangent. Number two, uh, the amplitude, not applicable. Okay, yes, make note of the fact that there's a four times, but it tangent really does not have an amplitude. Okay, period. Uh, this the standard for tangent is just pi. Be careful with that. The standard for tangent is pi. Uh, this one has a two in front of that theta. Notice that they factored it out. That's okay. We still want to. Uh, we just want to look at it that that way. Uh, so pi over two. No simplifying to do there. So that's the period here. The phase shift is left two pi because we added 2 pi to our theta. Our vertical shift is up 1, and so our midline is y equals 1. Okay. 